use it for sex, eating baby, drinking baby's blood. We kill, we sacrifice the baby, we do sex to the babies, we throw them when we're dancing with the skulls after the babies are dead. What skull? skull? The baby skulls. We from put, before? Yeah, from before. We put it on. Where do the baby skulls come from? They come from the baby. How do you get them from the baby? We cut the baby's head off, we, um, then we kill the meat from the skulls, and then we um, put all the meat and cook it. Sometimes we roast it, sometimes we roast it in the oven, sometimes we cook it on a fire. You, you told me there's some restaurants. Yeah, and there's some restaurants, McDonald's in Hampstead, and East Finchley. And East Finchley is a is a, East Finchley is a swimming pool, and in the East Finchley there's a swimming pool, and the whole, um, whole the whole East Finchley does it. The boss does it. Everybody does it. That's what. The sex, eating baby, and, we, and there's McDonald's in there, and they're also involved, and there's Starbucks inside, and they're also involved, and there's sweets and shop in there. Well, no, 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 don't rush, don't rush. You say McDonald's in Hampstead and Finchley Road, yes. and East Finchley. Yes. And you said Starbucks where? Which Starbucks? Starbucks in Hampstead and, I mean, no, not in East Finchley, in Hampstead. So not all, not no. all McDonald's are involved, no. and not all Starbucks? No. Only the ones where? In Hampstead and East Finchley. And also, um, there, there's a... What about Belsers Park? Yeah, Belsers, no, there's no, 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 no. Do Starbucks then? Does, do they do that or not? Yeah, they do. And this is a, a pizza express in Starbucks. No, there's pizza express in Belsers Park Belsers and Park. they do it. And Starbucks does it in Starbucks. Yes. I speak unto thee this day and I say you are living in time when men have done away with my standard or so they think they've done away with my dictate and they think they have found some new way. That is, they think they have found a new age whereby they can do as they please, commit their sins, worship their idols and there is no penalty in the same. But I say they are utter fools for I say they bring forth confusion, they bring forth delusion and the madness of the same. So I say for all of their achievement, what have they gained? Absolutely nothing at all. For I say that I don't think God never called men to live in confusion, to live in delusion, and take up with the ways of distress and sorrow that they are in. Yet I say when they are left to themselves to establish their own way, I say they bring in the way of death. For I say there are multitudes who are bound, bound under the Jezebel who, and I say they follow the dictates of the saints. That is, they become haters of the truth, haters of righteousness, determined to have their way. But I say the very way they are determined to have is the way of destruction, the way of damnation of soul. I say that idle living God never called men to destruction or damnation, but I say they take themselves there. And I say they go in a way that I did not intend, nor did I provide. And I say they go in a way that is far from me because they are full of deceit. And I say they bring in that which is cruelty and oppression, that which is darkness and wickedness, and oh, how great they think they are. But I say they are fools who are damned in their folly because they have taken the way of hatred for me. Now I say this day when men will do away with what it is that I, the living God, have established, I say they gain nothing except the damnation of their souls. And I say while they are blinded by pride wise in their own conceit, they strut and boast in the exuberance of the same. And I say they seek to dictate to other men how they must believe, how they must live, how they must follow. But I say the very thing they want them to follow is the way of destruction of soul. And I say for all of their strutting, their boasting, their exhibiting, I say it is me the living God who can bring the counsel of the wicked to naught. And I say it is me the living God who will reveal them in their iniquities till others are thoroughly disgusted with them. For I say it is me the living God who has indeed brought forth humankind, and I say that it is in my hand what I do with them. And I say when they grow exceedingly wicked and are proud of the same, then I say they are asking for despair. That is, they are asking to be taken in the very way that will prove to be their ruination because of their fascination with their own way. And I say they are stupefied dupes who have given way to demons and think they have gained a new age in the same. That is, a new way whereby they can rule and reign as kings and queens and princes in this earth as though they remain forever in all of their filth and abomination. But I say that the truth of it is they are nothing but dupes for the devil, and I say they are controlled by demons and they will be destroyed. 
For I say that I live in God and not mocked and the men through pride think they can do away with my dictate, my standard, my counsel. I say they are thoroughly deceived in the same. For I say there's a way that seems right to men, but I say that way is destruction. I say that I the living God never called men to destruction, but I say that I've called them to life. And I say that I've called them to be uplifted and ever guided in me. And I say that I've called them to be thankful that through me, so are they given the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope revealed. Now I say this day, be glad for the privilege that I've given unto you to walk uprightly. Be thankful for the privilege that I've given unto you to follow my standard, my dictate, and obey the same. For I say, when you will indeed walk uprightly in me, then you are guided by me. And I say, you are given the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. And I say, you are given the way wherein you can be guided by me. Now I say this day, be thankful that I, the living God, am ever present to direct you, correct you, and bring you forth. And I say, be thankful that when you will walk in my way, the humility way, then you will not succumb to the Jezebel spirits of deceit. But I say, for the ones who are living in their sins, flaunting their sins, and hating the truth and the righteousness of who I am, I say, no, they are already damned. For I say, they have chosen iniquity, they have chosen darkness, and yes, they will die in the same. For I say, when any will purpose themselves to go according from me, I say, they are purposed for death. And I say, you see multitudes in these times who have easily succumbed to the sedu seducing spirits, the doctrines of devils, and oh, how they tremble in fear at the same. That is, they would rather give up any righteousness that is in their lives and take the way of iniquity and stand in the same. For I say, they tremble at the threats of the wicked till they themselves are wicked likewise. And I say, they do it all to save their lives and save their positions in this life. But I say, in the end, they lose it all. For I say, they lose any opportunity they had to abide in me, to partake of me, and to be kept by me. And I say, they choose instead the way of destruction that ends in damnation of their souls. Then I say, they know the agonies of the damned. They are found abiding in hell forever, from which there is no release. That is, to live in the torment, the anguish, the sorrow, the regret, and of course, the anger of the saint. Now I say this day how dull and dumb men are, for I say they would rather hold on to the few things they have in this life than lose their souls. That is, they think if they go along with iniquity, if they side with evil, then they will be fine. But I say that the truth of it is they are siding with the very course of their own destruction. And I say they are siding with that which will damn them and cause them to lose their souls. Now I say this day that I the living God do not intend that men would lose their souls and likewise be damned. But I say that I've intended that men would walk in the truth, the light, the mercy revealed that I give to my own. For I say when men will be adhering unto me ever may glad for my way, then they can be guided by me. And I say that they can be given the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. Therefore I say in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, I say be made glad that you can be serving me. That is, that you can be uplifted and directed, corrected and guided each day in the truth, the light, the strength that I give to my own. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and strength and the hope given to all who will believe upon me. For I say, when any man or woman will believe and trust in me, then I say they are guided forth by me. But I say, when you see the ones who are trusting in iniquity, who are looking to evildoers to dwell among them, to rule over them, that they can succumb to them, know they are looking for death. And I say, they are giving themselves over to the very rule that is cruel, and I say, they will be damned in the same. For I say that I, the living God, never call men to succumb to evil, but I say that I've called men to stand in the truth. And I say that I've called men to be thankful that they can indeed be brought forth, ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. But I say when men are refusing the way that I offer, the way that I give, where do they end? I say they end in the heat, they end in despair, they end far from me. I say that I, the living God, never called you to end far from me, not at all. But I say that I've called you to be thankful each day, to be uplifted, guided, directed, and corrected in my way. 
And I say that I've called you to know of a surety. It is me you can look to, believe in, and trust day after day. Now I say this day when I, a living God, do offer to my people the way that is truth and light, and they will accept the same, then I say they are guided forth by me. But I say when the ones who claim they are mine will look to the governments, the systems of men, and accept the unrighteousness rule of the same as their standard, I say they are utter fools. For I say they are allowing themselves to de be deceived, they are allowing themselves to be taken far from me. And I say all the while they think they gain, they gain the way of their own sorrow. I say that I, the living God, never called you to sorrow, but I say that I've called you to life. And I say that I've called you to be thankful each day that you are uplifted and guided in my way. And I say that I call you to be made glad for the privilege you're given to believe upon me. For I say if it is me that you will believe it is of me that you receive day after day. And I say it is me that I've been God who will direct you in the way that I provide for my own. For I say it is me that have been God who is the way that is truth and light, the way that is mercy, hope, and peace provided. And I say for a people who are ever trusting and looking to me, they shall know the newness of life that I provide. But I say for the ones who are choosing the cruelty, the oppression, the darkness of their own understanding, no, they are choosing lies. And I say they are choosing the destruction of their own way rather than my way. I say that I, the living God, never called you to destruction. I never called you to deviate and go in the way of fools. But I say that I've called you to be thankful that my way is righteousness and truth and mercy revealed. And I say for the ones who bend the knee unto me and will be subject to my way, they will know my mercy is abundant unto them. But I say for the stubborn, the proud, the defiant, the ones who rebel against me, hate my way and flaunt their sins towards me, I say they will know my wrath. For I say when a man is pumped up on pride and full of the venom of the same, he thinks he reigns forever. But I say when a man is smitten under my wrath, reduced to a sniveling heap, he will see he is nothing but another fool. But I say they are fools who are revealed in their folly, yet they will not repent. But I say they only harden the heart, stiffen the neck, and go on in the course the way of their own destruction. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to destruction, but I say that I call you to life. And I say that I call you to be made glad each day that you can be dependent upon me, that you can be coming forth uplifted in truth, given the hope and the peace, the strength, the safety of who I am, that you can come forth made glad for the privilege to believe, to trust, to obey me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is mercy and hope and the peace provided. And I say when any people will believe upon me, then they are guided in my way. But I say when a people are looking to the vanity, the vexation, the pride of this present age, they are looking for death. And I say they are going along with the Jezebelian agenda of hatred for the truth, murder of the truth, and desire to have all men bow to idols and be damned. I say, do not give way to such a covering, do not give way to such deceit, but I say, keep standing in the truth that I provide. And I say, be made glad, ever thankful that it is me you can look to and believe. I say, be made glad, ever thankful that through me you are uplifted and brought forth, guided in the way of my mercy, my truth, my light revealed day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness, it is me, the living God, who is all mercy, and it is me, the living God, who will bring you forth, that you can be directed in that which I give you day after day, that you can come forth rejoicing for the privilege to obey and be ever kept in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength to all who trust in me. I say, like, give thanks make the people so numb with the curses and stuff, and they'd also drug them up, and they'd take a sacrificial knife and they'd start from the chest and move all the way down to your abdomen. And then that's how they sacrificed, and they'd t collect the blood and they'd drink it. Um, when the mid-September through um, mid-November, they sacrifice babies and nothing but babies because they need the pure blood of the untainted children. And I was really, 
I didn't understand what it was like. I just can't believe I'm seeing this. Every every year of my life, I've experienced that, and I was that was the hardest part for me. It's like hearing those babies literally scream and cry. Children don't make up. They love it. Lies no. nice that this would have to be if it was a lie, which I, I know it is not. It isn't. This couldn't be a terrible dream, a nightmare that you're reliving. <laughs>